Welcome everybody to AI Innovators in Telecommunications. I have with me today, Cal from Nokia. Cal, welcome. Thanks for having me, Ron. Could you please introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, Cal Day, um, I run product and engineering for one of Nokia's uh, business groups, Cloud and Network Services. Lovely to be here with you today. We just announced something that was very cool uh, with our autonomous network framework, and Nokia is a big piece of that. Could you describe a little bit about what's happening from an autonomous network perspective? For the longest time, the think part of Sense, Think and Act, if, we, if I'm to just follow that model for a bit, the think part was a stretch, if not outright notional. Um, we've been leveraging AI for a while, uh, machine learning uh, in particular, uh, traditional forms of artificial intelligence, uh, discriminative, um, with great value back. However, arriving at a point where um, the model is actually able to reason is a recent phenomenon that we're seeing playing out with large language models, small language models, agentic frameworks, um, and that introduces an entirely new paradigm, uh, which is opening up a, a, a marvelous number of new opportunities to take complexity out by um, reducing human error um, and being able to do things at machine speed that hitherto were flat out not possible. So Kel, that's really interesting too. And you know, what else has changed is the, the models, as you say, they've gotten better. We have more tokens, we have higher speed, we have more reasoning. Right. That's a huge, huge difference. And so as we've been pursuing this autonomous network, I think we have better tools now. Indeed. But where should the operators start? The sensible place to start, the best place to start is starting by defining what are we solving for. No use cases that are operationally hard, technically complex, require um, particularly leveraging data across multiple verticals, correlation, and a level of reasoning that candidly within the short windows of time that an operator has to respond to some form of network anomaly, um, some form of a security incident, um, defining use cases around that that will deliver value and then exploring, um, experimenting quickly with what does generative AI and the cloud bring to, those, to that equation um, is where I think we will see the early gains, the early ROI, as opposed to just open-ended experimentation. Um, we've had some meaningful work that we've done in particular over the last year. We've made some announcements together at NWC, uh, you know, a few that I think uh, we're doing this week that we're very excited about around the autonomous network where we've meaningfully partnered. We are where it makes sense using cloud native services from Google. Again, playing to your strengths. Uh, we are going to make extensive use of Vertex AI um, and learn together. It's been a pleasure having this partnership and, and a deep engineering partnership. And I think that's what's required to move the industry forward. Completely. It's not an individual game. So we appreciate that partnership greatly. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Valerie.